Stephen Northern farms in Bedfordshire. He gets more than £100,000 in subsidy for not a great deal more than owning land. The government was planning to divert 15% of his payments to support wildlife. But like other big farmers, he opposed the move because his competitors in most other European countries haven't had their farm grants cut in the same way. As a commercial farmer, I'd be quite happy to farm without subsidy, provided everyone else uh, didn't have the subsidy. The big farmers have partly won the day. The government's agreed to move no more than 12% of budgets into protecting wildlife. Farmers like Georgina Edge, who runs a medium-sized livestock farm in Shropshire, will potentially lose out. Well, I'm here. More swans here, yes. With her father, she's created a wildlife wetland reserve on the farm. The money that we're getting for environmental schemes is absolutely crucial to what we're doing here. Um, and if the NFU position means that there's less money in that pot, then that is really going to have a serious negative impact on our farm business. Wildlife groups say the deal isn't as bad as it could have been, but they maintain there will be less money for the environment than the government planned. And they say the policy shift won't be enough to bring birds back into the countryside. Roger Harabin, BBC News.